Before the colonization of South Africa, it was inhabited by the Khoi Khoi. They were hunter-gatherers who later became herders. South Africa was originally colonized by Jan van Riebeck and the Dutch VOC at the Cape on April 6, 1652. They were not initially planning to make a full-fledged colony, but they eventually started to colonize and move inland. After the French conquered the Netherlands, the Dutch asked Britain to help protect their Cape Colony, and Britain agreed. This accelerated colonization, but many Dutch settlers did not welcome the British. This was especially true for the eastern frontier, called the Boers, and they fought back. Eventually, the Boers surrendered, and Cape Colony went under the direct control of Jan William Janssens and Jacob de Mist. The colony's trading was mostly slave and ivory trade, and the colony had evolved into an agricultural economy based on wheat farming and viticulture. Because slave birth rates were low, the Khoi Khoi people were exploited and enserved. South Africa gained, eventually gained its independence from Great Britain in 1934, and only until 1994 was when the first multiracial elections were held. South Africa currently is the UK's largest trading partner in Africa and is one of the most popular tourist vacations by Britain. 438,000 British people visited South Africa in 2012. Many South African brands are also in British markets, like N Nando's, Appletizer, and even Roybo's tea. In conclusion, before the colonization of South Africa, it was inhabited by the Khoi Khoi, and they were originally colonized by the Dutch, but later rule was given to Britain. South Africa benefited from colonization because of advancements in agriculture and viticulture, but they were also exploited and many people became enslaved. After gaining independence, South Africa remains a major trading partner in West Britain.